Hey y'all, welcome to my curls. I'm in the bathroom again. I know, it seems like we always meet in the bathroom. But y'all, I'm a little upset. Y'all have been keeping something from me. YouTube has been keeping something from me. And I'm not too happy about it. I'm a little salty, in fact. And let me tell you, what that is. I'm not going to talk about hair. I know I'm in the bathroom, but this has nothing to do with my hair. It is completely off topic. But yesterday, I discovered something that had to do with my bathroom, and it was so mind-blowing that I felt like I needed to share it with you. So that's why I'm in the bathroom, and I'm going to tell you what I discovered. I was cleaning my bathroom. And you all know that I own an ice cream shop. And every winter I get a long nine week break from the ice cream shop. And so what I like to do is deep clean my house. I will go one room at a time and I will stay in that room for days and I will clean it from top to bottom. And I just happened to be in my bathroom yesterday, my master bathroom, and I discovered something that rocked my world. And so I'm super excited to share it with you, but I'm just wondering, does everybody know this but me? Has YouTube been keeping this from me? Because I'm telling you, I have searched for this on YouTube before and I have never found this answer. Maybe you all knew and just nobody told me. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you. Okay, let me just start off here. First of all, I know you're thinking, well, she doesn't look like she's been cleaning her house. And I have not been cleaning my house today. I cleaned my bathroom yesterday. And it was a crazy day. If you all follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. But what I shared on Instagram yesterday was my little doggy, Maxie, had an appointment with his dentist because he had to get some teeth pulled. And anyway, so he had to be put to sleep to have his teeth pulled. He was gonna be there for several hours, and I was home cleaning the bathroom, waiting on the vet and the dentist to call me back so I could go pick him up. And so at the point of this huge bathroom cleaning discovery, um, I was gonna film a video for you all at that moment because I was so worked up about what I had figured out and then at that moment, I got a call from the vet that he was ready to be picked up. And y'all, it turned out to be a whole deal in itself. Maxie had five teeth pulled. And so once I got home with Maxie, he needed t tending to, and I just was not able to get in here and get the video made. Plus, I looked like a hot mess at that point. So today, I've had a shower and I'm filming this video. So no, this is not what I look like when I clean my house. But beside the point, let me get to the tip. Let me show you around my bathroom first of all so you know what I'm talking about. We just have your typical master bathroom. We bought this house We've been here 18 years. And when we moved in, the door that was on the shower was broken. And so we had to have all new doors custom made and installed. So these glass doors have been on the shower literally for 18 years. And when I clean the bathroom, I hate cleaning the shower. It is so frustrating because I can never get the glass doors clean. I have tried everything. I have tried anything. I have searched on YouTube for ways to clean my shower doors and nothing works. I'm not even kidding. Nothing works. Yesterday, I'm cleaning the bathroom and I'm like, okay, I'm deep cleaning. I'm freaking going to clean these shower doors. So I get out all of my arsenal of products and I'm going to just try them all again because our shower doors accumulate soap, they accumulate shampoo and conditioner, just all of this stuff just gets on our shower doors. And yeah, I'm sure yours is the same way. So anyway, I'm gonna clean the shower, which I absolutely hate doing, but I do it fine. This is my bucket. I keep this in the bathroom. When I'm cleaning, I get out the bucket and these are my things. 
You've got sponges. These have like the little scrub dots on them. I thought if I had something rough to clean the shower doors, these would work. No. I saw on YouTube, barkeeper's friend. Lady swore it worked. It does not work. Fantastic. Scrubbing bubbles for the bathroom. Doesn't work. Soft scrub. Doesn't work. Well, this stuff, I actually cleaned the inside of the shower with it, but it doesn't work on the glass doors. Scrubbing bubbles, liquid, foam, doesn't work. Doesn't even face the yuck on the shower door. I even tried these eraser pads. These worked a little, but not really, but so no, didn't work. I bought this stuff, Jomax Mold and Mildew. And I know it's not mold and mildew, but I thought, hey, why not? I tried CLR because I thought maybe we, where we live, we have really hard water and we get like calcium and lime deposits. And so I thought, okay, maybe all this stuff is a buildup of this stuff. So I tried this, did not work. I even saw somebody on YouTube telling me to use this, to put it on your, like a sponge and rub it on your door. Didn't work. This is actually what I use to clean our jacuzzi tub. If you fill your jacuzzi tub up with water and put this in there and then turn the jets on, this stuff cleans the inside of your jets, but it will not clean your glass shower doors. Ooh, and I tried Lime Away spray. Didn't work. Well, I tried something new yesterday. It is a cleaning product or an item that we use to clean our ice cream shop. And I actually had some of it at home. And for some reason yesterday, I thought, you know, I wonder what that would do on my shower doors. And instantly, it cleaned the doors. It removed probably 85% of all of the buildup, all of the scum, all of the shampoo, all of the conditioner, all of the soap that has been accumulating on there that I have never been able to get off. And I am so excited to tell you what this product is because it is readily available at any grocery store so you can run out and buy it and clean your shower doors. So you wanna know what is it that worked? Here it is. Steel wool soap pads. Y'all, this works. I got one of these out. It's got the soap in it. I got my door wet, I got my little pad wet, and the minute I started lightly rubbing this on my glass doors, every bit of that yuck came off. This is my arsenal of cleaning stuff. And y'all, I'm telling you, nothing over here worked. Absolutely nothing. It was this. This is what got the shower clean. This is the magic product. I could not believe it. I was so excited yesterday. I was scrubbing and cleaning. I was in the shower. I was on the outside of the shower. This got off, like I said, about 85, 90% of all of the yuck on my door. And now this morning, I've taken a shower. I dried the doors with a cloth because I wanted to see, and there were a couple spots that I missed. Like I said, the vet called, I had to kind of dash out of here, but it is amazing. It is so amazing that Randy came home from work yesterday and he walked in the bathroom and he knew that I was clean in the bathroom yesterday. And he said, man, you went in deep in there. And I said, what do you mean I went in deep? He said, you must have just been in the mood to clean because you cleaned the shower doors. And I said, oh my God, I always clean the shower doors, but they never come clean. And today I figured out how to get them clean. So we came in here together and looked at the doors and y'all, it is like, this has changed my world. You can see through a shower door. Yeah, I wish I had a video of these doors before I started cleaning. And I'm sorry, I just got carried away with the cleaning and then the vet called, so it didn't happen. But look, look how clean this is. There is no scum, there is no residue, there is nothing. And all I did was wipe it lightly with the steel wool soap pads. So we have two doors, like double doors, that you can open and close. And I cleaned 
the inside from inside the shower and I cleaned the outside also. Y'all, my doors have never looked like this in 18 years. This is crazy good stuff. So we're gonna get up close and personal inside my shower, which is weird, but do not judge me. I wanna show you all how clean these little steel wool pads got like the frame of our shower. So look at this, look right here. This used to be full of, you see that? That's, I know. But this was everywhere and those steel wool pads got it right off. It made this lip shiny. I can tell that I did not do a fantastic job down here. Look how clean the track is and shiny and it has never been that way before. This is the shower. Look how clean that is. I am so excited. And let me tell you a funny story. Randy is so, he's OCD. Like things have gotta be clean and done the correct way and I deal with it because I love him. But here's the funny story. So when we first got these glass doors installed 18 years ago, we were trying to find a way to always keep them clean. And there's the stuff that you can spray on the doors and squeegee the doors every time you get out of the shower. And we did that for a minute. No, I'm not gonna do that. I am not gonna do that every single time I took a shower. It's just not happening, so forget that. And then, do y'all remember when some, I don't even know what brand it was, but some company came out with this little mechanism that you would hang it right there around your, um, shower head and you filled it with this chemical and when you got out of the shower every time you were supposed to punch this button and it would spray this stuff around your shower to keep all the residue off of your shower and your shower doors randy bought one of these things and he thought it was the best thing ever he loved it well i hated it it freaked me out because if i had to punch that button i could not get out of the shower quick enough before it sprayed chemicals on me so we fought about this stupid thing in our shower for a really long time and i won and it is no longer in our shower i hated it it didn't work it was bleh but this is it y'all so how did i not know about this like seriously how did i not know about this and I just feel like if I didn't know about it, you didn't know about it. So I wanted to share that with you. There it is, that had nothing to do with my hair, nothing to do with my gray hair, just a little cleaning tip that I wanted to pass along. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. Now go clean your bathrooms and I'll see you later.